Hey CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we are back with another Granny Square and our Halloween Granny Square Spooktacular. So I can't remember even what number this is, but I've had a really great time doing these and I just want to ask you first and foremost, please, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already so you can get notified of my future videos. And please share. That helps more than anything when you share to your friends, family, um, other people that you know that love to crochet, or TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Those things, they help more than anything, and I really appreciate it, okay? So yeah, this is lots of fun. This is just an applique that goes over this granny square. I'm going to teach you how to do this really cool puff stitch granny square. It's actually a puff stitch with double crochets in between. Um, and this is just, like I said, an applique. And then I've got uh, the little buttons to make the ghost eyes and mouth, okay? So let's get into our materials. So the yarn I'm using for this is called Neon Stripes by Red Heart. You can use any weight for yarn that you wish, okay? Also, I used a five millimeter hook for the granny square and the ghost. So five millimeter hook. And I'm also using um, these uh, button eyes that I got from um, Amazon and I will try to link that in the description box below. It's a really good deal. Um, it has all kinds of stuff in it and what I did was I used um, the smaller, these smaller ones for the eyes and then I used an oblong one for the mouth. Okay, like that. So, and then they have the little fasteners that go behind them. As always, all of my materials will be in the description box below as well. Okay, so let's get into the tutorial. So this variegated yarn will just move along with this. We're not um, manipulating it in any way. You're just gonna take it and start crocheting. So we're gonna just start off like any basic granny square, but we're actually gonna start off with a chain of four. One, two, three, and four. And then into the fourth chain from the hook, we're going to put a double crochet. Then we're going to chain two, and we're going to put two more double crochets, working all in this fourth chain from the hook, working in that same stitch. So that essentially is going to become our magic circle. <laughs> okay? Then you're going to chain two again. Don't you hate that when that's brought together like that? Chain two, and then you're going to put two more double crochets into that same stitch. And that stitch will stretch out quite a bit. That's okay. We're gonna pull it to tighten it in just a minute. And then one more time, chain two and two more double crochets. So you want four of these two double crochets in between the chain of twos. Then you can pull tight, and then don't forget you need to chain two again before you close off this little square here. So right at the top of the first chain of three that we did, we're going to put a slip stitch. Okay, just like that. Then you're going to actually be working in the middle of these double crochets. So here you've got two double crochets. We're going to be working right in the middle of those. So you're going to yarn over and we're going to make a puff stitch. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to go in between these two double crochets, pull up yarn once, yarn over, go through, pull up twice, yarn over, go through, pull up three times, yarn over, go through, pull up, and go through four. Then you've got all these loops on your on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and go through all of those, okay? Now we're at a corner here. And so what we're going to do, we're not going to chain one or anything. We're simply going to yarn over and go right into this corner and work a puff stitch. So yarn over, pull up once, yarn over, pull up twice, yarn over, pull up three times, yarn over, pull up four times. Then go through all the loops on your hook. Now you're going to chain two because you're in a corner and you're gonna repeat another puff stitch. Yarn over, go into this corner here, pull up once, yarn over, pull up twice, yarn over, pull up three times, yarn over, pull up four. Then go through all the loops on your hook. 
Now we're right here to these two double crochets again. And again, we're going to work in the middle of this. So without chaining or anything, we're gonna go right into the middle of this and work a puff stitch. Yarn over, pull up once, yarn over, pull up twice, yarn over, pull up three times, yarn over, pull up four times. Go through all loops on your hook. And you're at another corner again. So right here, and like I said, you're not doing anything. You're not closing this puff stitch. Most of the time when you're doing something like this, you're closing it. But I made up this pattern and it was important that I didn't add any stitches in between so it wouldn't get wonky, okay, for the granny square. So again, we're just gonna yarn over, go right into our corner and work a puff stitch. One, two, three, and four. Go through all loops, chain two, and repeat another puff stitch. One, two, three, and four. Go through all loops. And now we're right here in these two double crochets. You're gonna work right in the middle of those and do another puff stitch. One, two, three, and four. Go through all loops. And now we're at another corner. So again, yarn over, go into your corner, and make a puff stitch. Then chain two, and make another puff stitch. And then we're at two double crochets again. So we're going to go right in between those and work a puff stitch. Go through all loops. And now we're at a corner and this is our last corner. And so we're gonna go right into our corner and we're going to work two puff stitches with two single crochets in between. So we're going to pull up and do a puff stitch. Chain two, not two single crochets, chain two. And do another puff stitch. One, two, three, and four. Go through all loops. And this is what it looks like, okay? You've got your double crochets that we've done to start it, and then we've got our puff stitches. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into our first, the top of our first puff stitch right here. We're gonna slip stitch right into there, pull through to close, okay? Now we're gonna do a row of double crochets. So what you see here is you've essentially got three puff stitches across, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay? So what you wanna do is you want to chain three and into the same place where we just slip stitch, you're going to put another double crochet so that's two. And then right here in your next stitch, on top of this puff stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. And then in the top of this puff stitch, you're going to put two double crochets. So you've got six across, and now you're at a corner. And into that corner, you're going to put two double crochets chain two, and two double crochets. And now you're at the top of these puff stitches here. You see you've got one, two, three stitches. You're gonna work two double crochets in each one of those stitches. One, two, two in the next, and two in the next. And then you're going to be back in a corner, and then into the corner you're going to work two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And now we're on the top of these puff stitches again. So you're going to do two double crochets in each stitch. And I pulled that one. One, 
one and two. Again, one and two. Okay, then you're at a corner and you're going to put two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And now you're at the top of your puff stitches. So you're going to put two double crochets in each stitch. And then you're gonna be back at a corner and you're going to work two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets. And then you're going to slip stitch to the top of your first chain of three, okay? So that's really the repeat for this. You're gonna do one row of double crochet and one row of puff stitch, but I'm gonna show you just a little bit more so you can become familiar with it. So now we're moving on to a puff stitch row. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna work in between each of these sets of two double crochets. So right here, in between this first one where you just slip stitched, you're gonna start working a puff stitch. So you're gonna yarn over, go in between there, pull up once, yarn over, pull up twice, yarn over, pull up three, yarn over, pull up four times, go through all loops, and then go to your next set of two double crochets and work in between there. So one, two, three, and four, go through all loops, and again, work through your next space in between these two double crochets. One, two, three and four, go through all of those. And in between the next two double crochets, work another puff stitch, two, three and four. Now you're at a corner and you're going to work two puff stitches Four. So there's your one, and then you're going to chain two, and then you're going to make another puff stitch. Two, three, and four. And then you're going to go in between this set of two double crochets right here. One, two, three, and four and then in between these. So technically, you're skipping a stitch in between. So if it's hard for you to find your double crochets and go in between them, just know that you're gonna skip a stitch and work in between these two right here, okay? So you're really not working into the top of a stitch, you're working in between these. So again, another puff stitch. And then you would just keep doing that all the way around. So you would go in between your next two double crochets, go and keep doing that till you get to your corner and work again, a puff stitch, chain two and another puff stitch. And then you'll be back around for your double cro crochet round. So again, that's just worked over and over again until you get to the size that you want. Now, just so you know, for this one that you see in the video, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. So I start with the center of my granny square, then I do a puff, then I do a double crochet, puff, double crochet, puff, and then I end on a double crochet. But you can make it as big or as small as you want, okay? And so let's get into the ghost. To get started on our ghost, we're going to make a magic circle. Just like this. And in the middle of this magic circle, we're going to put 12 half double crochets. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Then you're going to pull tight and you're going to slip stitch into the first half double crochet. So let's make sure that we've got this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we definitely want to go into this one right here. It looks like it's kind of turned on its side and you're going to make a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain one and you're going to put one half double crochet right here where you just slip stitched. And then you're also gonna do another one right there, another half double crochet. And then you're gonna put two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. And you should have a count of 24 by the end of this row, or round rather. And then you're going to slip stitch into that first half double crochet, not the chain of one and you're going to close just like that, okay? Now you're going to chain one, put a half double crochet right in that same spot, and then I want you to do six half double crochets across. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? Just like that. Then I want you to chain one and turn your work. And I want you to put half double crochets all the way across. So starting right here in your first stitch, we're gonna put a half double crochet and just put half double crochets in each stitch. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and don't forget this last one. You might have to turn it on its side to find where the V is. And there are seven half double crochets. Then chain one and turn and work seven half double crochets across again, starting in this first stitch right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just like that. And then you're going to chain one and turn, and you're going to do one more row of half double crochets across. Just like this. And then you're gonna chain one and you're gonna turn your work and you're going to work four half double crochets in this first stitch right here. One, two, three, and four. Then you're going to slip stitch into your next stitch then you're going to work four half double crochets in your next stitch. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to slip stitch into your next stitch. Then you're going to work four half double crochets in the next stitch. One, two, three, and four. Then you're gonna skip your next stitch, go into the last stitch, and work four half double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Just like that, okay? 
And now we're gonna go up and we're gonna work on the arms. So what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna go right into this next stitch right here and I'm going to make a slip stitch and I'm gonna slip stitch all the way across, just wherever you can find. This doesn't have to be exact, but I'll still count them. So that's two slip stitches, three, and then four, and then right here is gonna be our fifth slip stitch. And these can be kind of hard to work into, but I try to get under more than just one uh, piece of yarn. So we're slip stitch right there. And now we're going to make an arm. So I want you to chain three, two, and three, and then back into the same spot we just came up, did a slip stitch in and did a chain of three. You're going to put a double crochet. Then you're going to chain three, and you're gonna go right into the next available stitch and you're going to work a slip stitch, just like that. And that's how you make your arm. Then we're gonna slip stitch all the way around to the other side. So I wanna just go around the head, but I'm gonna count just so you know. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and then 19. And when you get to that 19th slip stitch, we're going to make another arm. We're just heading a different direction now, but it's the same thing. So you're going to chain three into that same spot. You're going to put a double crochet. Then you're going to chain three and you're going to slip stitch into your next stitch. And then you're gonna slip stitch down. So that was one, two, three, Four, and then grab this right here at the very edge of this four half double crochets you did and pull in and do one more slip stitch to bring it up, okay? And then you're all done with your ghost. Now we're going to cut off, leaving enough, so you wanna leave quite a bit of a piece here because you wanna sew this onto your granny square. So leave a long enough piece to do that. And then you're just going to chain one to close. Now I'm gonna work in this back piece right here, and then I'm gonna show you how to put on the eyes. So go ahead and work in the back. Work this in three times, and I'll see you back in just a minute. So in case you don't know how, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to put on these, um, I call them button eyes, <laughs> and the fasteners, okay? So I have what I need laid out. And so now I'm just gonna show you where I place these. I'm gonna place one right over here. So um, you've got our last row and our slip stitch row and putting it right there. And I'm going to put my fastener on. You wanna put these on before you put it on to the granny square. Now, of course, if you don't have these, you can definitely crochet some little black eyes. I just thought these looked really good with this project, okay? I don't use button eyes uh, often, but I thought for this in particular one for the ghost, it really helped and made it look good. So I'm gonna put one in the same place on the other side. I'm gonna, I use my fasteners where they go like this. Some people go the other way, but this is just the way I like to use them. It's easier and I think they stay on very well. So that's what it looks like. And then I'm gonna put this one going straight up and down um, right below the eye, so right below the center. I'm not gonna put it right in the center because we don't want it to look like a nose. We definitely want it to look like a mouth, so we're gonna go down further past the center, right above the arms, okay? And then I'm gonna place my back on and push it. And voila, you've got a really cute little ghost. 
So I'm gonna show you how to sew this on to your piece. So right here, you can decide exactly which way you want it to go. I'm gonna have mine facing this way and I'm gonna put my ghost right in the middle. I hate, these are so beautiful. The colors, I think these are, this neon stripes is actually really good for Halloween. I, I think the colors are just fabulous for Halloween. So I hate to even cover up the middle of it, but we're gonna have to, to put on our little ghost here. So I'm gonna place it right where I want it to be. And then, so I'm gonna put it right there where I can see a little bit of this orange peeking up right in the middle. And I'm going to take a, um, I'm just gonna take a darning needle, but you can use stick pins as well just to hold it exactly where I want it to be. So right there in the middle, I'm just gonna, um, well actually this is my darning needle I'm using because I can't find my bigger one. So I'm gonna take my stick pen. Might need more than one. Um, and you're going to put it right there just to hold it into place, okay? And then you're going to take your yarn that you still have fastened to your ghost and you're going to put it on your darning needle. And all you're gonna do is you're simply going to go in and out. I wanna make this really easy. We don't wanna go through. This is important when you're putting on appliques and I see, a, I see this a lot and I know people are unhappy with their work. So this is a little tip I can give you. So a lot of times what people will do, and it's something that I did way, way back when I first started too, is you will go through the yarn and pull up like this doing a stitch and pulling it up and go through. But it's much better because then you can see those stitches. It's much better, and this often is the same even with amigurami too, to go in and out of the stitch. So I'm gonna go right into my next available stitch. I'm gonna pull through to get that situated. And then I'm just gonna come up and I'm gonna work through every stitch going like this. So I'm gonna pull up, and then I'm gonna go back in to the next stitch. And then I'm gonna pull up, like that through the next stitch and then go in through the next and again pull up and then going in and out of your stitch and also when you do this you can't see your work as much barely at all can you see it okay so this is just a really great way to put on appliques for any of your work as you don't see the stitches as much you don't see them in the front or the back, okay? So I'm just trying to work through every stitch going in and out. So I'm gonna keep working around and then I'm gonna show you how I go around the arms and go up to the head in just a minute. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, keep so working. we're right back up to the arm and I just wanted to show you, I do not sew down the, the um, arms here. And that's because if you wanted to, you can move them forward. So what I'm going to do is I'm at the back of my work now. I just finished that last stitch before the arm. So I'm gonna go right in now above the yarn. So I'm skipping all of the arm and just going to the head, okay? And then I'm going to work through these stitches going up. Now, these are slip stitches, and because they're slip stitches, they're kind of raised, so I'm working through the middle of the stitch instead of going all the way over to the side. And that's just because I don't wanna lose the, um, the way the slip stitch causes it to raise. I like the way that looks, and so I'm just gonna keep that in mind as I go along and go through the middle, okay? Okay, so we finished working all the way around and now as you can see, we can move our arms and if we want to, to kind of give it a more 3D look. Now okay. so we're all done with our work. How pretty is that? Just so cool, so fun to Enjoy. make this video. If you need any help or anything, don't hesitate to ask. You can find me in the, obviously, in the comments section below here on this video for YouTube. But if you're not comfortable with that, I have a Gmail, I have an Instagram, a TikTok, and a Facebook. And hey guys, just go right over there and follow me on all those things as well, okay? And please um, share your finished work with me. Uh, these would make wonderful Halloween pillows when they're put together. They'd make beautiful throws for Halloween. Um, you could make these into tags 
towels for your kitchen. I mean, just the stuff you can do is just immeasurable with these wonderful Halloween granny squares. So I do want to say real quick, I'm about to be having corporal tunnel surgery for my hand, my right hand, and then I'll have to do my left again as well, but that's scheduled way far out. Um, so I will be off for a while. I think I'm going to have one more video that's going to upload after this one for our Halloween granny square spectacular. Um, but after that, I'm not going to be able to crochet for a while. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself because if you're a crocheter, you know, you just crochet all the time and it's really my peace and comfort. So I'm just, that is actually my biggest concern. It's not even, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm worried about the surgery and I hope everything comes out okay but um, my biggest concern is what I'm gonna do with myself because I'm constantly using my hands I'm painting I'm writing I'm uh, do a little scrapbook here and there I do calligraphy I crochet so I mean literally and then if you clean your home or you cook you are using your hands for everything so if you don't have any disabilities and you have both your hands we all need to be grateful because my goodness you really need them so um, yeah, if you could just keep me in your thoughts or prayers, uh, I would appreciate that. And please continue to watch my videos and share them because this is a source of income for me, for YouTube is, um, and it costs uh, quite a bit of money and yarn and, and things that you need to use to um, keep this channel going. So watch and keep watching, sharing, that helps so much because it'll probably be a month or so, maybe longer before I can get back on. So I'll miss you guys so much, but happy crochet and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.